just did not oh, get it. Gosh. You guys ready to cross the New Zealand's longest swing bridge? Absolutely. Sure. All right. Uh, what you missed was those the two older lady <laughs> Kalunas. Yeah. She tried to show her phone to the image of the vaccine pass cell phone. She tried to show her vaccine pass to a poster. I'll, I'll show you. How. <laughs> that doesn't really work. You have a video of it? <laughs> no, nah, this is what she did. <laughs> What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. We just spent the night in Murchison. We're about an hour and a half from Nelson. That's our end destination. Before we head over there, there is an interesting site here in the Fuller Gorge. It is New Zealand's longest swing bridge. Now you know how I am with heights. I've expressed this many times on the vlog. I don't like them. <gasps> Yikes. This one doesn't look too high. It's 20 meters up. I've jumped off of, you know, Little Thailand was 42 feet, something like that. So we're gonna cross the bridge. Should be all right. And then there's a whole bunch of other goodies to look at. So let's, let's go check it out. Should be fun. 10 bucks to get in. It's a small price to pay and it's not like we have anything planned for today anyway. We have till 3 p.m. to check into our Airbnb at Nelson. So might as well go ahead and partake. Okay, that's good. ready for you. Awesome. So when you're ready, it's over the bridge, turn right and follow it around on the 15 minute loop walk. You'll see the earthquake. And you will end up at the Comet Line Tower where we do the ride from. So if you like, you take a ride back in. Okay, okay. sounds good. Two seats on that, so two of you do it together if you like. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this. Do not carry children on Swing Bridge. And uh, how far till we get to Toronto? 14,429 kilometers. Paris is 19,274 kilometers away. Boo! London. How far is London? 19,100 kilometers away from here. It's time to cross the bridge. All right, Sam's gonna be the brave soul to go first. Get on you, mate. Oh, <laughs> bridge limit. 15 persons. Here we go. Oh, damn. I already don't like this. This one's shaking a lot. I don't like how it shakes. Don't stop, Sam. <laughs> Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. I was a bit overconfident, methinks. I don't like this more bit and Sam keeps stopping my one exit out. I had all these planned GoPro shots, but all I can really do is just hold it. Eh. All right, let's do this one. Go 360. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Hope, uh... All right, we're almost there. How you doing? I would just like to get off. <laughs> it is the longest bridge in New Zealand, but it's not excessively long. Oh, like a kilometer. <laughs> uh, as long as there is a guy doing maintenance. You stopped breathing? Yeah, and I was just like, I'm just gonna keep my eyes on the grate. Yeah, that was uh, that was not comfortable at all. But it's over. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we did it. Survived. Good job, guys. <laughs> well, now people are going to look for it. <laughs> Sam suggested we pretend to throw food down and he might come. He's coming.
<laughs> I think it flew away. It stung me. Oh wait, there it is. Wait, don't move, don't move. It's on your ear or on the glasses. Breathe, love. It's okay. It hurts. I think it's dead. Oh, it's a wasp. That's why. Uh, wait, wait, it's still there. No, I think it's still stinging me. You'll be okay. Yeah, see? It's throbbing. Is, is, I've never been stung. Yeah. Is, is that normal? It's gonna hurt for a while. I remember when I got stung by a wasp. I felt like even like a little feverish after. Uh, You'll be okay. You come out because that nest is pretty close by. Yeah. The good thing is that the stingers don't go in you. Like they don't they don't get stuck in you. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> I felt it like really badly. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I was like right next to the nest and I swatted one and then I realized there were like 20 others. They're all up in this tree trunk. They're like right there. Look at that, you could see them. There's like hundreds of them on this tree. First stink around the day. It stung me more than once, that's for sure. I felt every single one. Yeah. At least two or three. Uh, bad introduction yeah. to wasps. Because it got stuck in your hair. You left the stinger in though, right? That's no, for sure. Even yeah. though I killed it. Unless you karate chopped them. Yeah. Nah. Because he was already dead in your hair when I pulled it out. Asshole. No one told you to go into my hair. And if my mom's allergic to bee stings, that wouldn't be the same as a wasp sting, nah. right? Mm. No. It's one of them was acidic and one of them's like alkaline. Oh yeah, you fing asshole. Alrighty, so Sam's gonna go off and check out Ariki Falls. It's about 50 minutes round trip. And then Ling and I will head back across the bridge and then put some ice on Ling's wasp bite. Take plenty of pictures and videos. I remember so, uh, when I was punching that punching bag and there was, I didn't know there was a wasp in the glove of the boxing glove and I started punching a bag. Yeah, but love, that it was stung me. I feel four, like mm. four in my head. Mm. Okie dokes, Ricky. We are back at the bridge, ready to go back the other way. Are you ready, Ling? Yeah, I know, I so. after getting stung by the wasp, you're ready for anything now. Excuse me, stung like four or five times by a wasp. <laughs> <laughs> A tourist just got on this bridge, so we're just gonna wait for them to get across before we proceed. Oh yeah, there's heaps of people. But they're not moving forward, are they? All right, let's go. Oh, we're gonna have to squeeze on through. We got some folks coming the other way. All right, inhale. <laughs> Link didn't bother crossing. Safely made it across, which is good because we pay ten dollars to do this. How was that? Second time around? Oh, uh, it was okay. It's bouncier at the end this way. Mm -hmm. You got a nice view of the jet boat, though. Yeah, that's Jet boat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of wasps. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, these three lots up here. Yeah, yeah, because actually I got, I got stung. Like, oh, did you? Oh, you're right here. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. pretty crazy at the moment. I mean, it's really hard to um, spray them when um, it's been raining. So this is our first fine day. Yeah, oh, okay. I might even close that bush off because um, until we can deal to them. Is that an antihistamine? That might be a design back on. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, you can just get these from the supermarket so they're not real dear. Okay. Uh, actually, I'll give you one to take with you. Flora clear, and it says oh, for yeah. hay fever, but yeah. it's actually for allergies. Oh, okay. Okay? Mm. Not trying to drag you away. No. <laughs> <laughs> that probably looks really dodgy, no. doesn't it? Giving you a tablet to take. Yeah. Because I know my mom, she's allergic to bee stings. Okay. So when it was in my hair, I didn't know if it was a bee or a wasp. So it's like, like ah! Well, there we go. That explains it. They're onto it. People know about those wasps. They sprayed it, but because of all the rain, they weren't able to. So we came back literally on the first day where it hasn't been raining. So that was the worst day. Let's wait for Sam. Was the wasp. Be the flying fox. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam's back. Um, not really worth the falls there. We could overlay footage right now. So right now you're looking at what the falls look like. Yeah, so I guess you could skip that one uh, based on Sam's advice. 
one star on Google. <laughs> Ling did get an antihistamine though from the. The woman gave me a antihistamine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't take it though. Look, there's a wasp right now. You bugger. You tell your brothers bastard. to get. You bastard. Tell your brothers to get out of here. Mm -hmm. 